You may do so. But we've started to practice our last names. So if you want to pause the video now and work on your name with your grown-up, you may do so. All right, let's come over here. We will put our name right here so you know I'm ready to learn and it is time for calendar. We are still in the month of December, the last month of the year. Can you say December for me, friends, nice and loud? Ready? December. Great job. And let's sing our Days of the Week song so that we can find out what today is. Are you ready? Here we go. Days of the Week. 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 Oh, there's Sunday and there's Monday. There's Tuesday and there's Wednesday. There's Thursday and there's Friday, and then there's Saturday. Days of the week. 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 All right, friends. If yesterday was Tuesday, what does that make today? Oh, there's Sunday and there's Monday. There's Tuesday and there's Wednesday. Great job, friends. And if yesterday was the number 15, let's find out what today is. 14, 15, 16. Great job, friends. Today is the number 16, which is a one and a six. So we'll put it right here on Wednesday and let's say our date together. Today is Wednesday, December, 16th, 2020. Say it nice and loud for me. Ready? 2020. Great job, friends. If you need to pause the video now to finish the calendar with your grown-up, you may do so. If you're ready to go on, we'll look out the window. Oh, ho, ho. And that white, cold, wet substance is falling from the sky again, friends. That's right. It's snowy here at UPK. So we'll put that under Wednesday. What is the weather at your house? Oh, is it warm or is it cold? Do you think you'll need a jacket today? Probably. All right, friends. Let's talk about our question of the day. Friends, have you ever had one of those days? Some friends might call it I'm having a bad day, where things just don't seem to be going your way. Yeah, I think that happens to all of us. If you'd like to pause the video now and talk to your grown-up about a day that just felt like a really rough, bad day, you can pause the video now and talk to your grown-up about it. All right. Well, today we're going to talk about another feeling in our morning meeting. And this feeling is from my friend, Tina. She is looking a little bit like her eyes are very wide and her mouth, does it look happy? Not really, friends. Yeah, this is my friend, Tina, and she has her eyebrows raised and she is feeling a little scared today. Scared or afraid is another word. It happens that my friend Tina heard the fire alarm and it was very loud and it frightened her. That's another way to say you're scared. And sometimes when we might be having a bad day, it is because something might have frightened you or scared you. Did you ever have a time you felt like that, friends? If you want, you can pause the video now and talk to your grown-up about it. Well, friends, none of us like to think about days that are bad, but we are going to read a special story about somebody who was having a really terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day in a moment. But first, we are going to have a good time getting our bodies ready for this story. So let's stand up, take one step away from your computer, and here we go. I can 
If you're ready to hear our story, we'll go on now. But if you'd like to go back and do the stretches again, you can always do so. Now this story is one of my favorite stories. And it talks about a friend who's having a little bit of a rough day. And his name is Alexander. And this is Alexander and the terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day. And it is by Judith Morst. And it is illustrated by Ray Cruz. Do you remember what the illustrator does, friends? If the author, Judith, wrote the words, what did the illustrator do? Yes, drew the pictures. Great remembering, friends. I went to sleep with gum in my mouth, and now there's gum in my hair. And when I got out of bed this morning, I tripped on the skateboard, and by mistake, I dropped my sweater in the sink while the water was running, and I could tell it was going to be a terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day. Have you ever felt like that, friends? Yeah, me too. At breakfast, Anthony found a Junior Stingray Corvette car kit in his breakfast cereal box. And Nick found a Junior Undercover Agent Cobra in his breakfast cereal box. But in my breakfast cereal box, all I found was breakfast cereal. I think I'll move to Australia. In the carpool, Mrs. Gibson let Becky have a seat by the window. Audrey and Elliot got seats by the window, too. I said I was being scrunched. I said I was being smushed. I said if I don't get a seat by the window, I'm going to be car sick. No one even answered. I could tell it was going to be a terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day. At school, Mrs. Dickens let, liked Paul's picture of the sailboat better than my picture of the invisible castle. At singing time, she said I sang too loud. At counting time, she said I left out 16. Who needs 16? I could tell it was going to be a terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day. I could tell because Paul said I wasn't his best friend anymore. He said that Philip Parker was his best friend and that Albert Mayo was his second best, or was his next best friend, and I was only his third best friend. I hope you sit on a tack, I said to Paul. I hope the next time you get a double-decker strawberry ice cream cone, the ice cream cart falls up, lands in Australia. There were two cupcakes in Philip Parker's lunch bag, and Albert got a Hershey bar with almonds, and Paul's mother gave him a piece of jelly roll that had little coconut sprinkles on the top. Guess whose mother forgot to put in dessert. It was a terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day. If you'd like to pause the video now, friends, you could talk to your grown-up about times that you felt like that. You could also talk to your grown-up about how you could try to make your day feel a little bit better, even when things are going a little bit wrong. That's what it was. Because after school, my mom took us all to the dentist, and Dr. Fields found a cavity just in me. Come back next week and I'll fix it, said Dr. Fields. Huh. Next week, I'm going to Australia. The pages are sticking together, friends. On the way downstairs, the elevator door closed on my foot. And while we were waiting for my mom to go get the car, Anthony made me fall where it was muddy. And then I started crying because of the mud. Nick said I was a crybaby. And while I was punching Nick, 
for saying crybaby. My mom came back to the car and scolded me for being muddy and fighting. I'm having a terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day, everybody. No one even answered. Friends, you can pause the video now and talk to your grown-up about ways that Alexander could have used his words with his brother. So then we went to the shoe store to buy some sneakers. Anthony chose white ones with blue stripes. Nick chose red ones with white stripes. I chose blue ones with red stripes. But the shoe man said, we're all sold out. They made me buy plain old white ones. But they can't make me wear them. When we picked up my dad in his office, he said I could play with this copying machine. Or he said I couldn't play with this copying machine. But I forgot. He also said to watch out for the books on his desk. And I was as careful as I could be, except for my elbow. He also said don't fool around with his phone, but I think I called Australia. My dad said please don't pick him up anymore. It was a terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day. There were lima beans for dinner, and I hate lima beans. There was kissing on TV, and I hate kissing. My bath was too hot. I got soap in my eyes. My marble went down the drain, and I had to wear my railroad train pajamas. I hate my railroad train pajamas. When I went to bed, Nick took back the pillow he said I could keep, and the Mickey Mouse nightlight burned out, and I bit my tongue. The cat wants to sleep with Anthony, not with me. It's been a terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day. My mom says some days are like that, even in Australia. All right, friends. Oof. Alexander had a lot of things that happened to him in that book, didn't he? And we talked about a lot of feelings. And so for our first activity today, we're going to be drawing some of our feelings on our feeling faces. So this says, I'm feeling left out. Do you remember when Andrew, or Andrew, when Alexander was feeling left out? Yeah, he wanted to do certain things and he was not feeling left out. And how did his face look? Would he feel sad maybe? Yeah, a little disappointed. This one says, I'm feeling surprised. We worked on that feeling yesterday, didn't we? <gasps> You're surprised. And I'm feeling proud. What would your face look like if you felt proud? And I'm feeling anxious. Anxious sometimes means you're a little worried about things that might be coming up. So, if you want, you can work with your grown-up on what your faces might look like. And you might have to go look in the mirror and see what your face looks like when you're feeling that way. And you can draw it right here on your feeling faces. So you can pause the video now and work with your grown-up. All right, friends. And our last activity of the day is a paper that looks like this. So you want to grab this paper and you're going to write your name. And on our paper it says, sometimes I have a terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day when... And you and your grown-up can talk about something that makes your day feel not so good sometimes. And then it can help you write it, and then you can draw a picture in this box. But this box says, sometimes I have an amazingly wonderful, really good, very awesome day when, and something that makes you feel very happy during your day, and you can draw a picture of that. Because even when we're having our worst days and our ice cream falls off and lands in Australia, there are still things that we can do or things that we can say that will make others feel better or ourselves feel better. 
So you can work on that with your grown up now. All right, friends. Well, I hope that you have an amazingly awesome rest of your day. 